everybody. I'm glad you're here. Um, we just moved right into this, so I didn't give any of you guys a chance to get up and leave. And I hope you stay, but I understand if this is not for you. We, um, we're here today to show everybody in this room the beautiful things that you can do with your images. And I own a little photo, com little photo company in Fullerton, California called Fullerton Photographics, not Photogenics. And we do a lot of beautiful, amazing things with your photos. I also wear another hat as the first female president of the Photo Marketing Association. So in 93 years, we've had this organization that's been a collective group of manufacturers and retailers. And they caught wind of this crazy gal in Fullerton who bought a broken down film lab 15 years ago and turned it into something. And so they said maybe she should be our president and help bring relevancy and um, a fresh look at things back into our industry. So I wear both hats. Today I'm here, I'm so excited to be here because we created this lounge and marketplace um, on this side of the building over here to kind of bring together um, ideas for you to um, picture what you can do, picture the possibilities of what you can do with all of your gorgeous images. So whether you're a professional photographer, you're a hobbyist, you just love photos for one reason or another, we all have tons of them. And I know there's a lot of you in this room who probably haven't done anything physical with your photos in a long time. So I'm here to just encourage you to take a peek over here at the lounge and marketplace to look at the beautiful things that you can do with your photos today. And kind of almost if you can dream it up, there probably will be that surface soon that you can put it on. So let me see. I don't know if the clicker's up here. Maybe it's not. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have too many slides because I have about 10 minutes to talk to you, but this is um, who I am. I'm PMA president, blah, blah, blah. Have a couple of grandchildren. I started off photographing kids and wound up buying the photo lab that I used. So that was another story in and of itself. But I'm excited about what we can do today because most people really have no idea what's possible. There are so many surfaces, so many substrates, so many new and unique ways to show um, beautiful imagery from wood to metal to glass to paper, of course, to canvas to acrylic and other things that we really haven't even dreamed up yet. Um, a few years back, I was getting interested in metal, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen what metal looks like. Um, this is a beautiful upside down metal print. And I, I fell in love with this surface and I brought it into my company and I wanted to, to um, show my customers one, an unusual um, substrate to print your photos on. Well, what happened was I had a print like this hanging in my store and nobody noticed it. They walked by it. They didn't touch it. They just walked by it and assumed that it was the glossiest you know, photo print on paper that they'd ever seen or that it was a print that had been... Um, either laminated or something was done to it to make it shiny, but they didn't understand that this was actually printed directly on this metal surface. So I shouldn't say directly. We make an inkjet print first with special inks, and then via a heat transfer, this is actually sublimated onto to metal. So what I did in my company was I, I thought, it's beautiful, but how can I show it in a new and unique way? So I actually stacked metal together and started with, say, an 8 by 10 piece, and then used um, a creative background on something that was a little bit bigger, say, an 11 by 14, and put some stacked metal together, which I'll show you in a video soon. But people got the idea, and they would walk up to um, our front area, and they'd take a look at that, the surface, and they'd say, oh my gosh, what is that? And we'd say it was metal, and they'd say, how much is it? And I'd give them the price, and then they would say, that is so beautiful, is that all? So then we would raise the price because nobody had seen the surface before, nobody knew what to expect from it, and it has become one of the most popular things that we do for the consumer today. So in my company, I sell their images on metal. If you're a professional photographer, you obviously would sell your images on metal or any one of these other cool surfaces, and it's really unique and different and unusual um, and it takes on a different life of its own. So this is a, um, a wood print with a cool kind of wooden frame, so it doesn't have to be framed in any other way. It just hangs 
we put Velcro on it, but it literally hangs on a nail on your wall. And, you know, it's interesting to learn about these substrates because they all sort of represent your images in a different way. Wood takes on a softer look. It sometimes has, um, well, you can see a lot of yellow in this. It has a, a softer, kind of warmer, almost vintage characteristic, unlike metal that takes on this vibrant, beautiful, really saturated sort of a feel. So based on what your image is and based on the message that you want to give, there's a, probably a surface for you that you would fall in love with. Um, some of the things that are coming, those of you that have, have tried metal before or have done some work on it, um, know that it's been around for, say, three or four years, and it's very much starting to become one of the most popular mediums that we're seeing. But I believe that um, acrylic prints, so direct, um, either direct print to the back surface of a piece of half-inch or quarter-inch acrylic is one of the newest things that's coming. The other thing is um, taking, that, taking an image and making a glossy print and having it what they call face-mounted to acrylic. So there's two ways to achieve that product, but it's really beautiful too, and it's coming, and I think you'll see it more and more as the Shutterflies and those um, companies in this world start to promote those products, the, the consumer will begin to ask for it. And you, as photographers, because I don't know who I'm talking to out there, will also see how beautiful it is to um, enhance your photos. We've really found that um, people are attracted to shiny things. And I think that's why metal has taken on a life of its own. And I think acrylic is going to wind up doing the same. Um, this is a print that's done on glass with a textured surface to it. And it could double as a cutting board, but it could also be a print for your wall. And it too is really vibrant and beautiful and has a neat look when it's um, either mounted or framed. Another uh, type of glass that companies are starting to print on. So this, this is a, a direct print to glass. And then over the top, they've come along with the white ink and put a little bit of a, um, an added element to to glass. But it, let's say that you um, photograph babies and you might do a portrait of a baby and then um, either on acrylic or glass have their you know, um, name or birth date or some little message along the bottom. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities for what now these substrates are allowing um, us to do in terms of fulfilling these unique products. Uh, I'm probably running out of time, but I want to show you my, a little video that I made um, showing off some of the products that we sell and maybe inspiring you to create some of these products on your own. So let's see what this shows. I went to a, a steel company, like a company that made, that manufactures steel and I put on a hard hat and had them take a pallet down and I chose some steel that I wanted to use as background pieces for our metal. So today we float big metal prints on bigger pieces of steel or on bigger pieces of acrylic, or we put a metal background to them as well. That gal used that as a signature board for a wedding. So it was a metal print with a lot of room left around it and people can sign right on that steel. That guy that brought in that Van Halen sticker fell in love with the metal and had us do his whole office in both metal and acrylic prints from a lot of his um, old photos that represented his business. And I, I think there's opportunity for photographers too in this awards and recognition space because everybody's looking for different kinds of trophies or looking for different kinds of things that recognize their um, sports seasons and we've done a lot of metal printing for that. That, that slide got in here for something else, but that's some um, watercolor paper that we didn't even talk about. The paper surfaces are just beautiful today as well.
we, we really believe in the tangible product, and that's why we're so glad that we were asked to put on help with this creative marketplace and lounge, because when you see the kinds of things that you can do with your images, it, it really, I think, inspires people to do something with them. And that's the fun of it. And that's what we're, that's we're, what we're most excited about from being here today. And these guys were just too cute to leave out. So <laughs> anyways, thank you very much for listening to me. And I hope I can um, help you answer any of your questions. I'll be over in the lounge and marketplace. And if there's any substrate that you want to know about or you have a question about how it reacts to you know, certain colors or whatever, I'd be thrilled to tell you more about it. So thanks for listening.